Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you the few pictures that I've colored in July 2022. Uh, unfortunately not much, um, still a bit in a slump, um, yeah a bit, bit blocked. Uh, but I'm happy that I can show two finished ones and one ongoing project. Uh, I'm sure it will uh, return sooner or later, my coloring mood, but for now it's really calming or calm on that front. So the first that I want to show you is this lovely lady. Um, I've done the background with some Distress Oxide inks. I'm trying to focus. So I did my technique with the paper cloth again, as you can see, but it's very, very subtle. Um, this color palette is again one that doesn't react super hard on the water. But yeah. Other than that, I've uh, used some um, glitter gel pen, I've used some metallic paint here, some stickles of course, markers for the base of her skin and hair, and for her t-shirt I also went with some lovely, yeah, I think it's called hybrid effect paints, they change um, according on um, on how you hold your paper and how the light is uh, shining upon it so um, I'm quite happy with how she turned out it was a lot of fun the hair was much to do but strangely enough it, it was quite uh, quickly done I must say so here at the back you can of course see all the the base layer, the base layers, I must say. So um, that was the first one. Then the second one is in Soulmates by Hannah Carlson, and that's the uh, I think it's a Scorpion, on of which I did the background, also with the Distress Oxide inks. Yeah, it's focusing a bit. So as you can see, a bit of uh, different yeah, effects. And since I wasn't so happy with this part of my picture, I went over it with gelatos and stickles and yeah, a bit of everything. So it has a glossy look on the right side. And then of course, since I've used some purple effects, I did some extra purple here on this inner circle. And of course, the scorpion itself isn't just black, it's uh, a combination of purples. And I'm, I did use, I think, polychromos pencils, if I'm not mistaken, for this page. And of course, it had to be stickled and I think it's mermaid tail that I've used here on these lighter effects the rest is just purple and a lot of signo gel pen of course to brighten up the whole body and the, and the stone, the gemstone So, it's a bit of a special color combination, but I thought it, it looked nice in the end. And it, it has a nice effect if, if I turn my page. It's uh, glossy and glittery and yeah. So, that was this one. And this will be a very short video <laughs> because this one is my whip. I decided to do the neighbor page of this one and it's this one. I'm very happy with how my flower 
her flowers turned out and how her um, yeah the clothing that she's wearing turned out also polychromos I, th I think and um, yeah I've added some new glitter glues that I bought in Germany last week we were on a short visit there and but I'm not sure if, if the the colors of the the glue is quite fitting with the rest of the page as you can see it's it's having some red and blue and and hmm I'm not sure if it's suitable but oh well they're on there so I will have to see what I will do with it now I'm going to try and look at that bird above it it looks uncolored like this but if I flip my page it becomes pinkish so I really like that effect and I'm going to give you a closer look on her clothing which I think was very nice and then my flowers have some effect as well they're a bit glowy and the big flower has some uh, stickles and some glitter paint but yeah still a lot to do on this one uh, but yeah it's not calling it's just not calling um, I've received some new coloring books by an, uh, a coloring book artist called Rachel Mintz they are lightly grayscaled and I mes messaged them that I would do a flip through video soon but first I want to color in a page so that I can talk about the paper quality which I think is quite good it's not thick paper but I think it's comparable to Hanna Lin paper and I, I love working on Hanna Lin paper but so far I'm, I'm just not feeling it I'm yeah I'm sorry but it's going really slow right now so um, yeah but still I'm hoping that you found it nice to take a look at the few things that I've done in July hopefully I will be able to show you more at the end of August but I can't promise anything um, but we will see maybe I can combine some pictures from August if I manage to do some with September I'm going to see how it how it goes so for now I'm going to say goodbye wish you all the best and I hope I will see you soon on a new video thank you for watching bye